In 1988, I saw a movie called Miracle Mile at the theater with Anthony Edwards and Mar Winningham. Growing up in Texas, I don't think I met anyone else who had seen it until maybe 25 years later. Directed by Steve DeJarnett, this is a film about a likable 30-year-old who finally meets the girl of his dreams, only to oversleep and miss his date with her due to the power going off at his apartment. When he tries to find her at Johnny's coffee shop in LA where she works, he finds that she's gone home, of course. He answers a call from the phone booth outside, and on the other end, a young man is trying to warn his father that the nukes have launched and there is only an hour left for mankind. That's an awesome setup. You could also call it a Twilight Zone type of setup, but this movie is much more fun than that. The whole film is based on a series of just plain bad luck and wrong place at the wrong time moments. The rest of the film finds Edward sharing the call he received and his quest to find the girl of his dreams he just stood up for a date. The way the word spreads throughout Los Angeles at 5 in the morning is insanely fun and imaginative. This film is very 80s, but at the same time, it has a timelessness about it. Edwards and Winningham have fantastic chemistry together, and even though the situation around them seems dire, you are rooting for them to somehow escape or even hope that the call may have been incorrect. You want to see these two together because they work. It's the heart of the film to me. The film's ending can be considered bleak, but at the same time, it's actually really beautiful the way the film begins and ends. It has a cycle of life book into it that just works. This film's script was around for a decade or so. Studios wanted it to be a huge budget with a happy ending. In fact, at one point it was going to be part of the big Twilight Zone, the movie. But DeJarnett was able to get his rights to his own script back. He had offers of big stars and budgets, but they wanted the ending changed. He stuck to his guns and finally got about $4 million to make his own movie and direct it. Tangerine Dream does the musical score to it, and like a lot of their 80s scores, it adds tension and forward motion that the story demands. The film has a tone that remains tight throughout and just flat out grabs you. It also feels very realistic if this was the way things were to end. Chaos. But in that chaos, there is conclusion. A completion, if you will, and a realization. There is a line that resonates this quite well. When Winningham's character asks Edwards if people will help each other and rebuild things after the bomb, Edwards just turns and says, I think it's the insect's turn. This film is available on Kino Home Video. They have a special edition. It has a lot of extras, including interviews with the entire cast, including everyone at the diner. This is a really fun 80s flick, and it's more than just an 80s flick. It's really, really, really good. And I wish more people had had a chance to see it when it came out at the theater, because it really had an impact on me that way. I'm sorry, but this is it. This is really it. This is the big one. Thor Arthur 66 AZD. You know, like I told you what would happen if it ever came down? Well, it is. We don't know why. I mean, why would we, huh? 